The old church theater is uh, what this place has evolved to be. This was the former Johnstown United Church. It's stood here for 146 years. Uh, but we just, in the last 10 years, turned it into a live performance space. A lot of music, mostly music, some plays, a little bit of theater. Um, it's becoming a place that uh, is slowly growing as people discover us, and uh, people, love the, people love to play here. Musicians love the sound in this space. A lot of physical challenges because the place is so old, so that there's been a lot of renovation. Um, beyond the renovations my dad did, which were extensive, we've um, had to do new windows, new roof, insulation. We started out doing just a few shows a year and we heated with wood. So that would take about three days to warm up the place, warm enough to be in here. Even then we tell people to wear sweaters. <laughs> um, so it's just been the slow process of making it warm and comfortable and decorated and then there's getting people to know we're here. Those are all challenges we've come across. We've had um, all kinds of people come here. We have had people play here from each coast in Canada. We've had uh, Valdi come here from the west coast. We had uh, Ron Hines play here from the east coast. We do indie music. We've had a lot of people who um, are Juno Award winners and uh, have played in big stadiums and then have come to play in this small space. And um, when I first booked people like that, it kind of frightened me to think they're gonna to wanna to be in this small space. And they turn out, it turns out that they love it because it's so intimate. And um, we've had country music, we've had uh, Celtic music, lots of folk music, saxophone, bagpipes, guitar, drums, all kinds of stuff. All by myself, all by myself, I don't need nobody to help me, I can do it all by myself. Well, it's a, a show that's designed to sort of foster uh, improvisation musically, uh, as well as give uh, artists from the area uh, an opportunity to get in front of a, an audience uh, in, a, in a beautiful uh, acoustic uh, setting. Uh, as well as to be available to the television airwaves in the Cooney District. So that's, that's pretty much its purpose. Well, if you just look around the room, uh, it's, it's got a lot of character. And uh, as a singer-songwriter, I'm always seeking places that have some of the characters in the songs that I write. And so when I get to play in a church like this, an old church like this, literally an old church, um, there's something about a room like this uh, that it has a frequency that you just don't find in a, in a club in a downtown urban city. And uh, the people as well, you know, when you come a little bit off the grid, just a tiny bit off the grid sometimes, you can, you can throw a stone and hit a city. But uh, the people are different, it's warmer, and uh, it's community. And there's something really appealing about that for somebody like me. My message to people coming here to see a show would be um, come on in and make yourself at home. It's a really comfortable place to be. You'll enjoy uh, great music and the sound is great. Friendly audiences. Oh, also we're licensed. I'd like to tell you that. <laughs>